actor turned member of parliament hema malani triggered a storm when she made a comment she is the member of parliament from mathura within which vrindavan falls well she made the comment that the widows of vrindavan were overcrowding the, the town and the city and that they could have perhaps stayed back in the temples of bihar and bengal from where they came why did hema malani make this kind of insensitive remark the congress has already attacked her calling her remarks parochial and biased and insisting that she withdraws these remarks that are insensitive to the thousands of widows who live in abject poverty in the holy city of vrindavan joining us now is hema malini herself hema ji let me start by asking you it's quite well chronicled that the women or the widows of vrindavan live in abject poverty they're there because they have nowhere else to go they've been thrown out by their children they've been thrown out by their families they have in a sense been abandoned and the life of poverty uh, means that they often have to end up begging on the streets why would you pick on this vulnerable group hema malani and ask them to leave vrindavan no no i am not saying them to go back see first let me tell you uh, during the election time also this question was asked by many media people uh, i was very keen to go and see once i become the member of this uh, particular uh, place so i have been going around and seeing places the about 3 days back when i was in mathura i went and saw particularly to myself i wanted to be you know satisfied to what is actually happening and uh, i visited many places and i have i have heard a lot about uh, vrindavan widows um, not only in india but abroad also when i go people have got so much sympathy so much feeling for them so it's very nice and then i heard the, so much of international and national Uh, people are sending funds so many ngos they are working on them L- lot of funds are being allotted so i went and saw uh, some of the places um, uh, which was really uh, nice one of the one is uh, called um, uh, women I- i'm just not remembering the name uh, which was actually initiated by vajpai ji uh, uh, when in his tenure because he wanted to give dignity to the women and then that colony is beautifully made uh, but it was constructed later on after our uh, government i went and saw there are women staying very nicely uh, uh, very well provided uh, fan bed uh, khana peena and then they are getting uh, monthly also they are getting uh, 2000 rupees and uh, some of them are complaining about uh, pension hame nahi milta hai Uh, unless uh, uh, authenticity and uh, id card unko hona chahiye they want but uh, i don't know how th- that is being formed so these but are there, ji, then I, i asked them uh, would you like to work because some of the women were really nice and healthy so i asked them do, do you like to work some of them but, said yes some but, of them were but, not but interested but, but, but i, I asked you but later but, on that uh, many no, not have, all of them many of them go for begging you know that is the main issue why why should they beg Uh, th- this is li- living properly in a proper place with a but good shelter. But I must, I, I must interrupt to, to ask this. you. But I'm and then I visited one more southern, which is uh, Akila Mahila Parishad something. Okay. And that was not a good one because that place was really bad because they have rented out that place. Mm-hmm. But hardly. But I need to. Uh, but I need to there. ask you, Hema ji. Uh, I need to interrupt you. The rest is other destitute women are. Uh, okay. I need there. to. I need to. I need to interrupt you and ask you that you're saying that in many of the homes that you went to, the widows were living in good living conditions. They had nice beds. It was a nice place. But let me point out to you that in 2012, the Supreme Court, no less than the Supreme Court. pointed out that these widows of vrindavan are a highly vulnerable group a court appointed panel said they live in pathetic conditions and the ngos that went to court in uh, for them actually said that these women are left to sing bhajans outside the temples of vrindavan they sing for 7 to 8 hours they earn between 4 rupees to 18 rupees a day how can you say that these widows are well off when the court itself says they're living in very poor conditions No, no, I'm not telling everybody. See, there are about three uh, thousand to nearly five thousand women are here. This, this, uh, uh, this vidvas of Vrindavan are there in uh, in Vrindavan, Radha Kund, and the rest of the other places. Th- there are few of them are living in a good condition. That's what I'm trying to say. There's two, three other places, and also Mohini Giriji has opened one, uh, Madham. they are also see that the thing is the capacity is you can allot about 300 to 400 people but they are only keeping 
even the, even that Mohini Giri is thinking about 200 people can be accommodated, but they are keeping only 70. So why can't they put m more people? I mean, these about 1,500 will be living in a proper condition, but the rest of them are not. They are just living anywhere, wherever they find place. They are living maybe on the road. And um, but the problem is those days. Um, the women from uh, Bengal and other places but, used to come with but, full but, but devotion but towards Lord Krishna. But and then they used to live with dignity and then uh, singing bhajans and all, they, they passed their life. Okay. Uh, that is how they were living those times. Then la later on what is happening actually is so many rich devotees are coming and uh, but let me you ask know, you, are flooding with money and khana, oh. peena. So many clothes and things are given. But what are you so saying? They are able to collect all this thing. What are you what, what, is, what are you suggesting, uh, Hema Malini, when you talk about rich devotees? Are you saying that the condition of the widows of Vrindavan is perceived to be poor, but they're actually well off and comfortable? When the Supreme Court has documented that many of them earn just 18 rupees or less a day? No, uh, 18 rupees a day will be some some of them, but most of them are getting lot of funds, lot of things they are getting. And they, they, it seems they go and uh, sell it off and then make it money or they are giving to their family. So the, the first question is why the family members should uh, allow these poor women uh, to throw them out like this? They should have kept them uh, elder, elderly women and they should be looked after. That is not happening. But, but, he, and, but, uh, but Hema Ji, obviously, obviously the these women who come to Vrindavan, habit, actually. but obviously the women who Some come of to them, No, but let me, just, yes. let me just say this, that obviously the women who come to Vrindavan do so, ma'am, because they don't have a choice. They're coming either because they want to spend the last years of their lives in, dev in devotion to Lord Krishna and Radha or they're coming because they don't have a choice. Now my question to you is why did you make a comment that why can't the temples of Bengal and Bihar uh, be a home to these women? Why did you say this? No, no, what, 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 no, what I'm, I'm saying there, there are so many, there are around nearly 5,000 women are uh, there and all, most of them are begging on the roads. Some of them are getting funds and still they are doing, some of them are not. They are begging, why should they live with so much uh, like this pathetic condition? Women should, these, especially the elderly women should live with dignity. So there are some by central government and uh, state government has made some provisions for them. So they should utilize and then actually what I am trying to say, they should be counseled properly looked after them with a lot of love and affection and then but but when you say but beg. when you say they that should not my, beg my when you say hey maji hey maji hey maji and then hey maji they hey are just going l l let me let me just let me just ask you no this. they are having no, no when you say they should not beg when you say they should not beg you know the fact is they're forced to beg because of their life situation so isn't it easy for you and me to sit here and say why are they begging no, that is not the thing because uh, I see I'm I'm uh, new to that place. But the people living in Brindavan are telling me th this is the what is happening, Karke. So you you can verify with the, those authentic people living there. The, what is the problem? What I'm trying to say is they should be rehabilitated very nicely and then they should live with dignity but and you, die with dignity. But do you stand by your stray like this all over Brindavan? Okay. Do you, the do you do you do you stand by your comment, Hema Malani, that they should these widows should not crowd Vrindavan and they should ideally remain in their own states of Bihar no, no, and what, Bengal. What, because what in I India the constitutional right is that anyone can go and live in any state. Yes, anybody can live anywhere. But what I am trying to say, if women are coming from West Bengal, Orissa, Bihar, even that government also should take care of them uh, in Vrindavan also and also in their place. In their uh, state also they can look after them. So that they are looked after, they are just thrown out. So the, the poor thing, they come to Vrindavan th thinking that they are going to get a lot of things. So the devotion is all very, just 20% is left. The, the, the rest is all, they, they just want to, uh, whatever is available, whatever they want to get, they are trying to get it. Okay. So we have to rehabilitate them, counsel them, let me give them a lot of love and then teach them. And then okay. we have to give them a proper shelter for this rest of yes. the 3,000 people who are... Just okay. living here okay, and let there. Let me ask you, ma'am. Though in in the end, in the end, you're a woman. You're a member of parliament from this uh, seat. Vrindavan is represented by you in parliament in a sense. W wasn't it your duty to actually help these women, empathize with them instead of pushing them out? Yes, that's what I am going to do. 
no no i am going to do that that is what i personally went to see that okay, what is happening so what i realized is they are they can be rehabilitated properly and then counsel them and then teach them some nice whatever whoever can or strong enough to work they can do some work so that they don't have to beg the my main issue is not to beg and then the other from wherever they are coming that government also should try to help them in vrindavan also in, in their state also they should so that these women okay. live with dignity die with dignity all right my main issue is that okay i'm not saying that throw them out whoever is here let okay. them be here but they should be looked after well not okay, not okay hey, mamali your comments like this. there your are comments, so many ngos are there so many rich your comments are here and then they just throw the money huge, you know you, so your, it becomes your a habit for them so instead of that okay. put them nicely and then make them understand we leave it there families why 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 should they throw the, these women out like this That is indeed a question. Why are these women abandoned to begin with? But your comments have also sparked a huge controversy. Hema Mali, thanks so much for joining us.